hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, depending when you're watching this. It is Stacy with Stacy's Ritzy DP Crafts. I have a much awaited, much anticipated unboxing for you from a new company that I am now licensed with. So I wanted to show the artwork that I purchased or that was given to me, sorry, not purchased. Um, that was given to me to show you guys and as a thank you um, for doing the art for them. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you. It does come in a nice cardboard box and there's the insides, it's wrapped and let's take a look and see what is in here. It's very heavy. Wow. It is feel this whoosh cool I've got paper I can save for when I move <laughs> so it does come it doesn't come with plastic it comes wrapped in um, paper oh wow all right this is really super soft canvas I'm loving it so far let me get that paper out of the way because I will be saving that there's more paper inside to keep it from getting squishy, squishy. I am not going to show the image as of right now. I've got two paintings in here for you guys. Um, I will tell you the size. Um, let me see if I can see what the sizes are. One's a 70 by 70, and I know what it is. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, the other one is a... Oh, they're both 70 by 70s, which is great. Sorry if I was covering up the camera. But you can see very, very soft fibers, which I absolutely love. It is um, edged and scalloped to prevent fraying. I think everyone edges and scallops nowadays. I, don't, I haven't seen any diamond painting that doesn't do that. Um, but... Look at these colors. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second. Hold on, everybody. Let us look at these colors. And I just want to make sure. Look. Look how beautiful. Uh, I love art that I do because I try and do it very bright and colorful and there's those colors color makes me happy and these are all individually packaged which I love um, so they're already pre-packed in Ziploc bags sorry for the crinkly crinkly um, these are going to be two images so give me just a second I'm going to open up yeah I'll open up both of them just because I probably will not get these back in here the way I need to, which is why I'll be kidding one up for Retro Cult Classic. If you're new to my channel, welcome. <laughs> Sorry. I know I have a lot of new subscribers, so I really appreciate everyone for joining my Ritzy Clan. And welcome to the team. Welcome to the lives. Welcome to everything. Um, it was a priority. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for joining. And thank you all for returning. It means the world to me because I get to do stuff like this for you. And thank you again for appreciating the art that we as artists do. I love that as well. So before we get into the canvas, I am going to show you how many. Let's see if I can find all the ABs. Ooh, look at those beautiful ABs. One, two... I'm not sure, three, four, five ABs. I think there's five ABs in this one. Let me just double check and make sure. Yeah, so ABs for this company. Um, the ABs have an A at the end of them and they're gonna be on the bottom of your list. So you guys want to take a look. I'm not sure which one I opened up. Let me see. Okay. And their codes on here. 
will match the coat on the canvas. So you guys ready to see? Are you guys ready to see? I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down just a little bit. And look, it's Boo Buddy. That is inspired. You all know what that could be inspired from, but that's my little creation. I love my little monsters. This is a 70 by 70. It's got 50 colors and it's got five ABs. And the symbols all go from one to nine and then they all go in letter order, which I love. And then you have your symbols down here. Nothing looks difficult to read. I do have a new symbol, which I haven't seen before, which is a, like a O with a line, like a number 10. It looks like a number 10 to me. And then the three down lines, but I don't see anything that's going to be confusing. Um, I am going to keep an eye out for this um, 36 and 33 because those are kind of close, but I'll see how they look on the canvas. So let's take a look, shall we, shall we look? Oh my God, these drills. I do squares and I don't see any issues with these drills, but look at these ABs. All right, you guys all wanna see the canvas. You don't wanna see the drills. I wanna see the canvas. I wanna see one of the canvases. So let's take a look. Let me see which one this is. Okay, so actually, I'm going to go ahead and show you the toolkit because I haven't gotten toolkits before. So each canvas comes with a toolkit. I'm not sure if you can ask to suppress the toolkit, but why would you? You get a beautiful organza bag with it. Um, and you get washi tape, which I love. So there's the washi tape for this one. It's kind of, um, I want to say, let me see it real quick because... I'm gonna try and get you in closer so I can get. All right, there we go. So it's astrological washi tape. There's one. You get a couple of extra baggies, but come on, we all have baggies and stuff to store things in. Um, these are the the wide caps. I don't use the wide caps, but you get the wide caps with it. You get a square wax and then you also get um, how many are in here two oh not just two I think there's three waxes in here and then you get three little circular waxes just make sure you do take the plastic cover off the top of the wax um, sometimes I still use this wax every so often um, just when I feel like I don't want to replace everything you also get your little squishy and you get your tweezers. They are not murder tweezers, but they are a little bit sharp. A lot of people I've been finding are sticking this on one end of their tweezers, so it's easier to grab. I don't know. Or it's it on this side. It might. No, they're actually using these as, <laughs> as the covers for the tweezers. That's what it is. If you don't use these for your pens, or you have your own custom pens, which most of them do, a lot of people are using those for the end of the tweezers. Or you can cut off a part of this and use it as a stopper. Ta-da! So that's a good thing. You also get, I think that's a two or three placer as well. And a little tray. It, it's just a standard tray. But that is that. We want to take a look at the cover minder. Or not the cover minder. The washi tape from the other one. It's the same kit, so I'm not going to show you. But I do want to see what the washi tape looks like because I love washi tape. Not that I use a lot of it, but I love it. And now that my daughter's getting into crafts, I think she likes to use it too, but that's pretty. It's kind of hieroglyphic-y over here, or foil, I should say foil. So those are the two washi tapes I got. Very, very pretty, very pretty. Okay, so let's take a look at the canvas because I know that's all what you guys are waiting for. So the first canvas, without further ado, are you ready? It is, hide the other one, Boo Buddy, oh my god, he's so cute, I cannot wait, wait, wait to work on this, um, 
All right, so let's go over the canvas. This is really, really cute. I'm going to have to panel out because I can't get it all in here. Um, but, all right, so for the top, this is from Pam's Diamond Painting, um, which I forgot to mention, but well, I didn't mention right away because I was too much into the image. That is her beautiful logo. I love that logo. That's where it has the image information, sizing. You have your little image and... You do have your legend, which is extremely clear on the right side. It is also on the bottom right with your image and legend as well. On the bottom, cherish the beauty in every sparkle. I love that. Boo Buddy by Stacy Deal. And then this one still has my signature, but it's really small, so it's very easy if you guys want to want to cover over it. But it's nice to have. A signature on there I don't sign my stuff anymore just as a heads up and let's yeah I don't sign my stuff anymore I kind of miss not doing that but it's all good in the hood um, if you guys like the signature um, it's a very small signature I it has been showing up really nicely on the images let me know because I can always put them back I don't mind on some of them not all of them just ones that have meaning to me this one has meaning to me um, so let me know if you'd like the signatures in the comments below, please. Or if you just want it plain. If you want it plain too, that's perfectly fine. Um, but he is so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. So uh, you're just seeing his face. I'll panel it so you guys can see it better. And that's his tummy and bottom. And his big old hands because, you know... And then bubbles, there's um, plenty of bubbles. So if you guys want to bling up the bubbles, you can definitely do some blingy blingy. But we are going to take a look at where these ABs go. Let's bring them back. I don't know what I just did with them all. Okay, so here are the ABs. So you've got a beautiful gold AB. And I can, let's see where this is. So this is all, oh wow, this is all the shading in his tummy. Um, give me just a second. Okay, I apologize. Due to the size and the shape, I can't get a full size image in the canvas. But let me go ahead and scoot him up just a little bit so you guys can see. In the shading in the tummy, which is right in this area. This is all going to be ABs down here which I think is going to be beautiful. Um, you then have 740, which is the X's. So let me see where those are going to be. So the, these two colors are going to be the shading in this area of his stomach right here. Um, there's a few outside areas in his nails as well. Um, but most of the shading is going to be here for these two beautiful colors. And then you have all your blues, which I can guarantee is going to be mostly in his body. Let's take a look. So we've got let's see. So there's some there's going to be some of the ABs in his paw. Like these are going to be scattered. Yeah, these are going to be scattered. This color right here gets scattered in some of his paw. It's going to be in the fur. Um, a lot of it's going to be the highlights in his fur. Uh, let me see if there's some up here. Yeah, there's some here in his face as well. So it's just going to be scattered throughout. And if there's any in the bubbles, let me see. I'm not seeing any in the bubbles. Yeah, it's mostly going to be in his fur for this for this particular color to give the fur some highlighting. And then 820 our question marks cuz so that's going to be in the darker part of his fur down here. There'll be um some purple shading in here. You'll have some of the like purplish blue ABs. Um there's going to be some let me get it pulled back up in this area 
right here. Anywhere there's like these little purple highlights, you'll see it. And I definitely need to get a bigger camera set up. Um, there'll be some right here, some around his eyes. It's just giving that a little bit of that purplish, bluish vibe. So that's going to be scattered around. Um, and then you have, let's see, the last one. Let me see where the last one is. Hold on one second. Okay, so with this one, this one is going to be very sporadic. Um, and there's only like a couple in a few areas that show up, I think, which is why it's such a light package. Because it is very, very sporadic. I think it's just supposed to like bring like attention to the area with, with it being an AB. But I did find some next to the purples. There wasn't a lot to find, which... Hey, it's great because it just brings a little bit more depth to the image, but it was really hard to find. I did find some, where was it? I did find some in this area, but again, it's going to be kind of mixed in with these purples and it's just going to be a sporadic to kind of give it a shadow. So I, oh my God, I'm kidding this up for the retro event. <gasps> I cannot wait to get this up. He's so adorable. Oh, I love him. I love him. So if you guys want to order him, he is available through Pam. Um, <clears throat> it's Pam's Diamond Painting, but all the links will be below. Sorry, I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> but again, it's 50 colors and it's a 70 by 70 and I cannot wait to work on him. Oh my God. All right. So are you guys ready for the next one? I'll do it in part two, so stick around. Um, if you guys want to see the colors real quick, I'm very bad at that, but let me go over the canvas itself because I did not do that, and I don't want to wait till part two to do that. <laughs> so I will go over the canvas. It's been a while since I've done an unboxing, so I do apologize. Um, so you just definitely remove the cover. The canvas is really, really soft um, canvas. And it's a thinner film, so just be aware if you guys have cover sheets, or we do have for the Retro Cult Classic um, a sponsor for cover sheets and sectioning squares. So I will have all of those links below. Again, this is tied into the Retro Cult Classic, um, but for the glue test, it is oh my god, that's super sticky! <laughs> it is super sticky, and it just came in beautifully. I have no issues with the canvas at all, and I'm just thrilled thrilled with the canvas so if you guys want to stick around I will be posting another video for part two of my diamond painting unboxing with Pam and um, I really appreciate all of those who stuck around and thank you so much for joining you guys have a great morning afternoon or evening comment below on how you like him isn't he cute um, and I will talk to you on the flip side bye